In this video, we'll discuss the best batch size to select during training. The first question is, what is the batch size? Well, the batch size is the number of crops processed at every step. So at the minute in Copycat, the batch size is limited to the size of your training data set. So you won't be able to choose a batch size that is greater than your data set size. What this does mean though, is that for generalized training with large data sets, you can select a batch size that is as big as your GPU can handle. And we found that for generalized training, using a large batch size is the best solution. While each step will be a bit slower, a large batch size means that the loss curve will be smoother and the training will be more stable. On the other hand, for small data set training, keeping the batch size reasonably low isn't a problem. We find we get similar loss curves when we use, for example, a batch size of four versus a batch size of eight or 16. And in fact, the training can converge quicker when using the smaller batch size. So in summary, we found that for smaller data set training, smaller batch sizes allow for faster training. Whereas for large generalized training, using a large batch size allows for a more stable training with better results.